Hello friends, today let us check how to solve the user profile service service failed the logo on error. User profile cannot be loaded. If you have this problem, you cannot enter your user, you cannot open your computer. When you press your user icon, it will show this message user profile cannot be loaded. So we have to restart the computer in safe mode. For that, restart computer and press the F8 button. So it will give an advanced menu like repair, safe mode, like that. So here we have to click on the safe mode or you can choose the safe mode with the networking and it will load the windows. You can log on to your user in the safe mode. So here user is logged in in the safe mode. Now we have to do some registry edit. Click on the start and type reg edit R E G E D I T in the search area and open the reg edit as the administrator. And here the registry editor is opened. Expand the H key local machine, then expand the software, scroll down, expand the Microsoft, again find the Windows NT, expand it, then expand the current version, scroll down. Here you can see the profile list. Expand the profile list. In this profile list, you can see two folder names almost similar. The one have the BA key extension and in the another without any extension. So the one without the extension that is the actual user profile, and you can see the username, use profile image path. The username is Dell. Okay, cancel it and we have to interchange this BAK extension to the another one. So I'm going to rename this file with the BAK extension. I will just remove the BAK. I will keep the dot there and after that I will give the dot BAK extension to the first file. Rename. I will type here dot B A K and after that I will rename the previous one again and I will remove this dot just remove the dot so now make sure you are selected the one without the B A K extension and click on the ref count and change the value data from 1 to 0 Similarly, click on the state, change the value data to 0 again. After that, you can close this registry editor and restart your computer in normal mode. This time the computer will be login without any problem. You can see here it's loaded. You can access your desktop and all the files. You can access the desktop normally. Suppose if the problem is not solved, you can do one more settings. Restart computer again and log into the safe mode. And after that go to start menu and click on the control panel in the safe mode I am saying you have to log in, in the safe mode and in the control panel go to the user accounts again user accounts and click on the manage another account and here you can create one new account give any name for the user and select the administrator and create account
after that restart your computer in normal mode now it will show two users the one with the old username and the one new one we will log into the new user that we created here you can see there is no any desktop files there is no any files personal files you can copy all your user data from c colon users and open your previous user del in this case del i can copy all these files and i can paste it to the new user or you can copy the important files just like desktop downloads favorites pictures music all these important files you can copy in this case i will copy the pictures only you can see i open my pictures you can see these all photos and here i will copy all this file all this pictures to my new user and you can access this images and all the files from the new user windows i hope this video is useful for you If you like this video please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel thank you